Okay, so this is lead. This is denatured alcohol, poison. And then this is corrosive poison. Corrosive poison. And then, so the lead. The lead is a solid and it's in multiple pieces. And, and the denatured alcohol is liquid and it's also like see through. It's like watery and it's like a yellowy color. And then the corrosive or whatever poison is a uh, gas and it's red and see through. And it's like trapped in there so it doesn't move. Yeah. So this is foam and it's uh, the color is red and it's a solid. This is glass and it's blue and a solid. And this is salt. Salt. <laughs> and it's uh, yellow and a solid. Oh, this is secret. Yeah. So the vinegar is very gross and it has a really strong smell. Okay, try that. What is that? It's a lime. Okay, try lime. What's it smell like? <laughs> What's it smell like? It's strong like what? <laughs> like lime. Like lemon? Lime? Okay. okay. Try this. Oh, it's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> it smells like. Okay, so let me try. Oh, that's disgusting. It smells like chocolate, but really, really sweet chocolate. The physical property that we chose is luster. Luster is the brightness or shininess of an object. It's a qualitative physical property because it's dealing, it's not dealing with numbers. The glass is the most lustrous uh, object because it's the most reflective and shiny. The silicone is also very lustrous, but it's not reflective, it's just shiny. And the chalk is a dull object because it's not bright or shiny. Other examples of lustrous objects are metal, and other examples of dull objects are wood. Oh. Cotton is very uh, fluffy and smooth. The texture is very fine on it. Uh, the salt is a little bit gritty and feels waxy, so it's really slippery. Uh, the sandstone is really gritty, but also fine, like something you use as sandpaper. So this is station seven, hardness. Uh, the coal feels soft, but not soft enough to throw at a friend. Just very light and soft, softer. Uh, the graphite has a little bit more weight, but it is very hard, like it will not shift its shape unless formed under heavy pressure. Uh, the soapstone, very uh, hard. It is, I don't think, I think that's staying as its shape until erosion happens. Yeah. Okay, you ready? The pipe cleaner for flexibility, which is Station 8, is very flexible. You can bend it with, and with ease. The wood is non-flexible, like you'd have to have a lot of force to bend it. And then the nickel is somewhat bendable, but not super bendable, flexible. Trying to bend the wood, and it cannot bend at all. Yeah. I'll try this. Now Quincy's bending this nickel because it, it's easily it's easy to bend but you still need to use some force. And now the pipe cleaner, which is super easy to bend and flexible. So pretty much all of them are flexible besides the wood. Uh, this is tin, it's very bendable, you can bend it with ease. It's, you can press it easy so it's very malleable. malleable.
Then there's nickel, which is malle uh, malleable to an extent. Like it's not as easy to press as tin, but compared to stone is our last one. Stone isn't malleable at all. It's just you can't do anything. The property that we chose was viscosity and that is how easily or not easily a substance flows. It is a qualitative property because we're not dealing with numbers in this case. The sugar solution is an example of a non-viscous substance because it flows very easily. And the corn syrup is a viscous substance because it flows very slowly and not very easily. Another example of a viscous substance is molasses. And another example of a non-viscous substance is water. Our group is testing magnetism. So we're testing the magnetic attraction of this tack. So as you can see, this tack is magnetic. Um, next we're gonna test the iron ore. And the iron ore is magnetic. You can feel the attraction, but since it's too heavy for the magnet, you can't show it really. So. Um, next we have the tin foil, and the tin foil is not magnetic. So press one. And last we have a paper clip, and the paper clip is very magnetic. So magnetic attraction, yeah. So I is like a little. Magnetic, this, you know, not magnetic, and then we got a thumbtack, that is magnetic.